Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to factory reset this Mac. Now, it doesn't matter which Mac you guys have. However, this video specifically, if you have an M1 or an M2, and that's because if you have an Intel Mac, so it's older, slightly older, you're going to be holding Command R for this process. I have another video about that, but again, you would be pressing Command R. And for M1s and M2 computers, it's different. So remember, this video will take care of deleting everything from the Mac, which includes the Apple ID. So you're going to have to activate the Mac using your own Apple ID after this. Or if you're selling it, just leave it as is or activate it without an Apple ID. You can actually do that as well. You can skip all the steps, not add in any passcodes. Well, sometimes you do have to add in a passcode, but it can just be like one, two, three, four, and that's about it. You don't have to put in any personal information if you're selling this later on. So again, if you're selling this later on, it's best to activate it just without any Apple ID or any information. All you have to do is put in a passcode, but that passcode will just be something simple. And you can put it in the hint of the passcode. You can put, oh, the hint is write down one, two, three, four, five, and you would do that in letters. So the person who buys it can just type in one, two, three, four, five in numbers, and that way they can get in the Mac and just factory restore it again if they want to do that, which is what the buyer should do right in front of you anyways. But regardless of the reason why you're doing this, let's just get started. So first of all, what you need to do is go to your Apple logo. Your Apple logo just shut this down. So just shut down your Mac. Once you shut down your Mac, you see this button here, Yes, it's not just for your fingerprint, it's an actual button. So you can hold it down and keep holding it down. And on your screen, you will see this right here. Let me just zoom out a little bit. And there we go. So you should see an Apple logo. It's just going to show loading and it's going to show you these options right here. Let me just get this more in focus so you guys can see better. So at this point, what you have to do is choose your second option where it says options. So go right into options, press on continue. We're going to get this loading up and then we're going to go into disk utility, erase everything and do all that. So we have to select our user. So we're going to select this one, press on next. By the way, it's asking me for my password for the Mac itself. It's not asking me for the Apple ID password. So I want to keep that in mind that the password for your Mac, it's not the same thing as your Apple ID password. Apple ID password could technically be the same thing, but most people have way different passwords to go into your Mac and then your Apple ID. So this would be the password for your Mac itself when you log in. Then go ahead and press on continue. Also would like to mention that if you forgot your password for your Mac, you can always reset that using your Apple ID. And if you forgot your Apple ID password, you can always reset that actually just using your email. So it's actually extremely easy. If you don't know the Apple ID of this Mac, for example, um, just quit this right now. Don't do anything. Stop right now. Turn it off, turn it back on. Just go into, once you log in, go into your Apple logo and from your Apple logo, you can just check out what email it has. And that would be your Apple ID. Anyways, right now we're just going to go on into Disk Utility. That's your last option down here below. So we're going to select Disk Utility. Once we select Disk Utility, you're going to see all of this. Um, just select the first option up here. So the top left hand side, select the first option from your first option go on and select erase i wish i could zoom in oh never mind i can zoom in for you okay so didn't expect me to be able to do that but there we go so i picked macintosh hd that's my first option and then from on top of here top right hand corner i can see erase click on erase you're gonna be seeing this let me just zoom in again so you guys can see better and you want to pick this now if you have an older mac and you you're using the command R thing, or if you have a fusion drive for that matter, then you would be using maybe journaled. But if you have an SSD drive, you're only going to get these options. So just go for the first one. I would leave the name as is and then click on erase. So when you're about to do this, it does give you a warning, obviously, because you're going to delete everything. So go ahead and erase everything, erase and restart. And there we go. So right now, let me see if I can actually zoom out. There we go. <laughs> then it looks a lot, a lot more normal. So we just have to wait a little bit. It usually doesn't take that long unless, again, you have a Fusion Drive or an HD, so a regular hard drive, instead of an SSD, which is way faster. But again, this is supposed to be a tutorial for your Mac M1s and M2s. So for your Mac M1s and M2s, this process is usually extremely fast.
So here we go and we are in Activate Mac. Do not click on Restart. Do not do that. Right now, if it doesn't let you click on Next, it's because you're not connected to Wi-Fi. So on the top right-hand corner of your screen, so again, if you're stuck in this Activate Mac, it just means you're not connected to Wi-Fi. So on the top right-hand corner, you're going to see this. That's your Wi-Fi. Just click on it. And then from here, connect to whatever Wi-Fi you've got. So for me, it's this one. It's the best one available. It's going to ask me for to put in my password. I'm going to put it in. Click on Join. And once it connects to your Wi-Fi, then and only then can you activate this Mac. If you're having problems with Wi-Fi, just not hooking up, just use an Ethernet cable. That will fix your issue. All right, so at this point, it's going to tell you that activation lock. It's fine. It doesn't mean it's stalling or anything like that. You just don't put the password for that Apple ID. Again, if you forgot the password for your Apple ID, you can always reset it. Obviously, you need your email and the Apple ID. It will, it's going to actually tell you there what Apple ID it is. So you know which email to go to just in case you haven't used this for a while. Anyways, once you put in your password, just select next. So once you press on next because you put in your password for your Apple ID and your Apple ID, you're going to see this. Your Mac is activated. You can exit to recovery at this point. And finally, we can get to reinstall the Mac OS. So we can go ahead and reinstall it. You do have to do this even if you're selling it, by the way. We're not activating it at this point with any app ID. We're just installing the Mac OS. Before, with older Macs, it would actually ask us for an app ID whenever we're installing Mac OS on it. However, now it doesn't. And that's a good thing because if you're selling your Mac, you would still activate your Mac with an app ID, but at the same time, it wasn't linked to your app ID. It was kind of weird, I know. But now at least... It works this easy so all we have to wait is at this point then you're just gonna see this just click on agree select this option your first option you should technically only have one option if you follow my video then we're gonna go on and continue now what does this message mean this message means we need a power source so we're gonna hook up our Mac to some electricity we're just going to use that cable. Once we hook it up, it's just going to go on and do this. And that's because it's very important. Even if you have 100% of your battery, it's very important that it doesn't die at any point in time during this process. So that's why it's asking you to hook it up to some electricity, even though you might have 100% of your battery. So this right here is really about your internet speed plus your max speed. So just wait. So after it's just going to restart briefly, then you're going to see this again and don't worry about it. At this point, actually, you could just leave your Mac and then just come back later on. But I'm showing you every single step so you guys don't worry about the procedure. So I'm going to show you every single part of this process. But uh, we're almost done, actually. If you know how to use voiceover, press so there we go. You are all done at this point. If you would like to learn how to use voiceover <clears throat> to set up your Mac, press the escape key. So like I said, you're all done. At this point, you could go on and set it up again. And if you're selling this, you could set it up without an Apple ID. If you just want to put your Mac away, be done with it. Because you don't really have to set it up, even if you're selling it. It's your choice. I like to set it up so the next person can just test it out and see if they like it. But you don't have to. All you have to do is just hold on to the power key. So remember that button up here? Yeah, the fingerprint. Just hold on to it until it shuts down and you're done. Just let it be. Once the next person or once you feel like you want to set this up, just open it up again, turn it on, and you're going to get this screen again and just go throughout the whole setup process. So right now, if you guys want to see how I set this up without an Apple ID, just check out that video. I'm going to make a separate video for that. But again, for the rest of you, you can go on, hold that power key until it shuts down and you are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.